All right, so we finally upgraded the counter light headlamps to the DRLs. Fire it up, let's have a look. I can see! I can see! Christ! Oh, look at him! Jesus! Praise Jesus! Oh, I appreciate this. Oh, this is beautiful. I can't believe it. Thank you. I don't know what to do with What's up guys? Uh, back with another video today and I'm excited because this is finally the one I've been waiting for, the headlamps. Oh yeah, we're going to be updating those uh, dated candle light bulbs and finally putting in some full-on DRL headlights, courtesy of Transport HQ. Well actually it's not courtesy, I had to pay for the damn things. Anyways, I'm pleased with them, that's the main thing. So we're going to get stuck in um, fitting the lights on. Also guys, I'm going to be putting in the gloss grills um, which have come from Traveling Light and I'm um, excited to do that because they've also got the little LED lights. We're going to go from zero lights to... <laughs> anyway, and listen, if you don't want to see all the fitting bit, cut straight to this point in the video and you'll see the montage at the end. If you're interested in the fitting, stay tuned. Also, at the end of this video, I'll give you another review on my thoughts on these lights after I've given them a couple of weeks road test. Anyway, so that's what we're going to be doing in this video. Let's get stuck in. going to be doing exactly the same on the other side now so I'll get that done and then we should be ready for the next bit. Okay now that's done um, we need to release the fog lights if you've got fog lights on your bumpers you're going to need to unclip those before you pull the bumper off that's located on the driver's side inside the inner arch we're going to do that now and I'll flip to the other camera. That's the fog lights there. And then you pull that wire harness off there so you do that. Thank you. 
Okay, that's both the headlamps now in and connected. So we're gonna give it um, a test now and make sure that they work before we start fiddling with the bumper. Oh yeah. Okay, so now the headlamps are in, we're gonna start working on the lower gloss grill. Let's have a look and see what's in the box. So they've got the, gr the grills in here, um, the front trim piece that goes across after you're done, three sections to the grill, and um, the little lights that fit into the um, cutouts, the DRLs, this is the wiring loom that you get with it, and the module to run them as day running lights. So the loom module and there's the lights themselves they need to be fitted into the uh, the grill okay we're going to get started on fitting these bits into the bumper while it's off so let's get cracking So we're going to mount the module for the DRL lights in the inner wing. So I'm going to pop the passenger side headlamp back out real quick just so as I can get to the wiring a bit easier in the fuse box.
Hi guys, so that's everything done. It's all buttoned back up and everything's finished. I'm gonna get it all cleaned up and then we'll give you a bit of a montage of the finished result. <laughs> Hey folks, right, okay, so we're inside now, we're in my office where I do all my editing and stuff. I was just gonna give you a quick run through and feedback on the video, on the, um, not on the video, on the products, and um, show you what they do. So if you uh, focus on this here, um, let's just zoom you in. Yep, on, on the film. Let's get you zoomed in on that a minute. All right, so. When you uh, walk on up and you open your van, you're going to get the sequential indicators. They look sick. Um, love that. And then when you start the engine, because it's a dark day, it's going to come on to auto lights. So you're going to get your driving lights come on and all the... There we go. So they come on. These are slightly dimmer in this mode because of... Obviously, it should be dark. They've gone brighter now because I've switched it to the off position. So that's day running light mode. That's how it is. Then we go to headlamps, so it dims down, and the lower ones are dimming, uh, so off again, so you can see the brightness is changing. Headlamps, main beam, and then back onto driving light. So you can see these two getting dark, they, they dim down when, um, and that's when I've switched it off. So if I turn it off, these remain on for about a minute or so. Um, yeah, so the little LEDs will go out after about 30 seconds or so. They just switch off even after you've locked the vehicle. I'm really, really pleased with the lights. I love the the indicators. I wasn't sure at first um, before I ordered them, but I'm really pleased with them. They, uh, they're they very visible. And um, I think it's the version 2 lights on the site. They had a version 1 where it was just a static indicator, but I've gone with the version 2. That's what they are. Also, of um, straight off the bat, I paid for the better bulbs, which you'll see if you go on their site. They offer um, 30 quid-ish, I think, 30 or 40 quid. And um, so I did that straight away before trying the other bulbs. Um, and i um, pleased with the brightness and everything. It's definitely made a big difference at night because I've been driving it for a couple of weeks now. Um, I'm sure it's not as good as OEM LED lights um, as having other vehicles with those kind of lights on there, super bright, but these are definitely worth the trouble of replacing. They, they look great and they give you better um, visibility, joking aside. Um, the other thing was, I've got to say thank you to Transporter, uh, sorry, to Traveling Light because they've supplied me the lower grill kit and an upper grill kit which is now here but it wasn't they were out of stock for a while so we've just gone ahead and installed without it but they've set they've sent the original bottom one um, and i struggled to find a gloss grill with the drl lights in it and the radar cut out i couldn't find one anywhere so um i if you're in the same boat there's a link in the description below. Follow that and you'll find it to their site and they sell them there. Um, also, um, I did have a piece that arrived, even though the box and the packaging was A1, a little piece that goes like here, this piece. Um, uh, that was, took a couple of the tabs were snapped when I took it out of the bag and it's caused it obviously to be an issue with, with it staying on. So I've just temporarily put a bit of adhesive on there, but 
I made a phone call, they sent me another one, no quibbles, they just sent me a brand new piece, the whole thing. So thumbs up to them for that. Um, that's, it. That, that's obviously the kind of thing that really makes me want to go back to a company um, when they do things like that. So I highly recommend both companies to be honest because there wasn't apps anything wrong at all with the headlamps. So, um, But it's not a sponsored video. Uh, these are my own purchases, my own views. So take what you will um, and um, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up on this video. Everything, it'll really help the channel. And um, I'll see you in the next one. We've got some more stuff coming soon. Cheers.